Alright, the first Kingdom Hearts post commentary where I basically skipped a long let's play and used the power of peaceful share to go for some videos and screenshots and do a review for the end. Though, technically, the rest of the video is a review of my gameplay. So, spoilers ahoy, and let's get into it. First off, I'd like to thank everyone at Square Enix. I got a hundred, yay! Now to do it again. This is a nice glitch. This. this is not. Bit excited today, are we? I mean, hey, these guys are jumping for joy. But not the safe work kind. This keychain has a long reach and the ability to deal a string of critical blows. Yikes. This game is telling me that wooden ropes are bad, so now I'm confused. <laughs> yes! Wee! Here you seem to the life of the grind interrupter. Stop! Ah! Hey! He said stop! And now the screenshots. The power stone is a stone filled with power. Hmm. Smash Bros ain't got nothing on this. Thanks to the observation shopkeep. This here is nice. Hmm. You've got a lot of this mystery goo, but no answers. Huh. These people look very happy. Disneyland, get on it. Mm -hmm. Barrels, obsession barrels. Did you know that the son of Zeus does not like barrels? You know what, just... Just had to lay down a law, show them how it is. Thank you, beginning of the game, for not meaning anything. Now, before I get into the actual review, I should probably mention that I started this series off with Kingdom Hearts 2 about five or six years back, and I don't remember anything about it anyway, but, uh... <laughs> and I also played, uh, Birth by Sleep before this, for chronology's sake. I also didn't plan on doing all of this until Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and probably should have written a review closer to when I actually finished the games, but whatever. What I can say is that the Kingdom Hearts series for the most part has an insanely fun combat system that's difficult to get bored of for the most part. And you know what, after reviewing the footage I can say that the recruit is an interesting way to get people to use to the boss battles by looking out for specific animations, waiting for sound cues, and counting how many hits it can take, and counting how many words it can say per minute. If I hated my very existence enough to do a level 1 critical run, which I probably will, these habits are gold. I almost forgot to mention that the uh, gummy ship building is actually quite interesting. Very nice, though, um, not really sure if I really want to do the gummy ship missions. Like, yeah, nah, they do get stale after some time. I can remember seeing a trailer for the first Kingdom Hearts game on TV many, many years ago. Boy, did that concept seem weird, though I guess Sonic X was a thing. But it works. It definitely works. Sora, Donald, Goofy are a great trio. Riku's a jerk for the most part, and Kairi needs to get better at running. But she's nice. I know if Keefe is a keeper. Until I get a better keychain. I love how the game sells as the seeds for sequels and spin-offs and all, but what the hell's a keychain? This game marked the start of a great and engaging series as a whole. We can start next time reflecting on the beginning. In terms of gameplay, see then.